Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial using makeup products that I have never really used before or that I've used, but I used for like like one try or like two tries and I haven't really got the gist of it. But um, yeah, this is a new location. If you guys like this new location, please let me know because this setup that I got going on is really difficult and if you guys don't care for this background or don't care for this little new location let me know but if you guys like it I'm gonna keep recording here so just let me know also I have this wig on because I really did not feel like doing my hair I would have to take out all my cornrows and I really do not feel like doing that because it's like five right now and I'm not going anywhere for the rest of the day so I don't want to take out my hair for no reason so yeah, please just, just disregard this wig. I know it looks super fake, super plasticky, but just please bear with me today. So I'm gonna be using makeup products that I have barely used or haven't used or that are new. Um, by the time this video is up, you guys would have seen my huge makeup fall collection, or not fall collection, but fall haul. So you would have already been familiar with all these products, but I'm just gonna show them again. So for for <laughs> For foundation, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. I have never tried this before. This isn't a new foundation in my, I don't think, but I have never tried it before, so it's new for me. So there we go. I have the color 1111 Soft Sable. For concealer, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal True Match in the color N4 um, Light Slash Medium. So it looks like. For a primer, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. For setting powder, I'm going to be using the Milani Prep Set Go Translucent Transparent Face Powder. For eyebrows, I'm going to be using the ColourPop Dip Brow in the color Black and Brown. This is what it looks like. And I've had this for a very, very, very long time. And I used it like two times and then I got a eyebrow pencil and I never looked back. So, I'm going to give that a go. I'm going to be using for a setting powder the Maybelline Master Fix um, Wear Boosting Setting Spray. On my lips, I'm going to be using the Lorac Pro Liquid Lipstick. This is what it looks like in the color Deep Burgundy. And for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the BH Cosmetics Essential Eyes 28 Color Eyeshadow Palette. This is the first eyeshadow palette I ever bought, but I actually have never used this eyeshadow palette before, which is so weird. But this is the first palette I ever bought and I never, ever, ever used it. So, we're going to give it a go today. Also, to blend my makeup out, instead of using a brush, I'm going to be using a Real Techniques, Real Techniques Beauty Blender. And this, I it actually, I have used it, but I used it like really late at night when I was just testing out some foundation. And I don't know if I liked it. It really is time consuming to just sit there and do this. So, I don't know. I think I like a brush better. But we'll see how it works today. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to pin this hair out of the way because it's really distracting me. And it's all in my face and annoying. So please, guys, don't roast me in the comments. I know this hair just looks a mess, but, you know, I was not about to pull out my hair today. But I'm going to start off with the eyebrow. Um... I'm gonna have to brush them back manually. Just brush them up. And this is what the color looks like. You see, there's like a whole bunch of dents in it because, yeah, I have used it, but I've never really liked it. And I started using it when I was like new to makeup, so I was definitely using it wrong. Like, and my eyebrow was this thick, but I'm gonna give it a go today.
Okay, so I think that this is a little too dark for my liking, so I'm not going to fill my eyebrows in with this. So instead of filling in my eyebrows with it, I'm just going to use my um my Maybelline one that I always use because that is way too dark for my liking. I know it's kind of cheating, but I just don't. Mm -mm. I'm not really a fan of like super dark brow. for concealing them I'm not gonna use a new concealer I'm gonna use my standard um BH cosmetics concealer because that's what I like I'm not gonna use another one are looking pretty dark i don't know why but they just are but i don't think they look that bad but they look so dark but i'm gonna just blend that out the concealer um just gonna completely ignore how dark they look and i'm going to use a setting powder from my bh cosmetics contour palette let me go into eyeshadow i'm going to use my standard eye primer or eyelid primer whatever you want to call it um this is what I use in every video. Just going to find my lid. I'm going to take my palette and just kind of smooth out that primer because it's really like oily feeling. Just looking at this palette, majority of these colors are shimmery. There's like a couple of mattes, but majority of them are very, very shimmery. Hopefully you guys can see all of them. So I'm going to use see this color right here to just add like a base now in my crease I'm going to use this kind of matte brown color see. yeah this kind of matte brown color right here it has a little bit of shimmer in it but for the most part, it's pretty matte to so just So next I'm going to be taking, I don't know, there's so many colors in here, I don't know which one that I'm going to take. I'm going to take this color down here and kind of just also put that on top of that crease. To add some shimmer, I'm going to be taking this color right here, this rose goldish color, and putting it on the top of my lid, like right here. Oh yeah. Yes, you know that baby. Yes, so I can't explain what I really feel. It's like a burning flame when I hear your name. I need you, and it ain't no secret. When you in my corner, I'm undefeated. You flip your head, girl, you so conceited. But my ego's big, so I guess we even. The reason I'm on top of the globe, and you the reason I'll mess with no one not in this hoes. I need a little bit of time. Wait till I get you home. It's going down. Soon as you look at me, it's on. You know, right? You can right there for the longest. Whenever I'm putting in work, I'm going to add like eyeliner and stuff later because I don't like doing eyeliner before I do foundation so I'm gonna start I'm gonna start by priming my face with the um elf primer and just took two pumps of that now on to foundation taking the infallible pro and I'm going to just dot this all over my face hopefully 
this color matches me because right now, right now, these dots right here are looking a little dark. But I am going to remain positive, positive vibe on this. I'm just gonna do this bottom half right here. See what happens? Uh, it's so hard for me to find a foundation. It's so hard for me to find a foundation. But I'm gonna use my damp, um, with a cute sponge and kind of blend that out. And here this is why I don't like this sponge or sponge in general. Like, why is it so much work? to put your foundation on like that looks so ugly like i don't like the way sponges do the foundation it just doesn't do it for me it just looks too spotty i don't know if it's this brand but the thing is i heard good and bad and bad things about this like and right now all i'm feeling is negativity how does it look to you guys I just feel like you can never get a nice coverage with it. It's just like, I don't like that at all. I just like brushes, so I'm not going to use this anymore. Sorry. is that it looks a little tan a little orange actually but we'll see how it goes so now I'm going to try to conceal to hopefully lighten that up so I'm going to take the true match okay it has like a little, like a little lip brush and just Milani prep set and go to prep set and go that thing for the um, concealer. Ooh. I'm taking the Elf um, intensive ink with this really that tip and I'm going to just create a little I'm also going to use this this brush to bronze with the Milani Thick Bronzer in the color Glow. This is also a new product I have not tried, so let's give it a go. So I'm just going to get out the way. Maybe just one brush for this. I can't see anything, so I'm gonna use a different brush. Do you not see anything? I don't see anything coming on my face. Hmm. 
don't see anything coming from you guys. Like, there's nothing you can put on the brush. Like, literally. It's like just coming off. But I don't see it on the brush. But. Okay, nothing's happening with this bronzer, like at all. Like, it doesn't seem to have any pigmentation. Maybe this is not for my skin color because literally nothing is coming up. To highlight, I'm gonna take the Physicians Formula Powder Palette in the color Translucent Pearl. And I actually like this color. I've actually used this a couple times. This is like a really light highlight. I love it so much. Now, the lips. I'm gonna take the Lorac Pro. My camera stopped, but after I put my lip color on, that's all that's left. It mattified and stuff, and I like the color a lot. It's muy bueno. I love this color. It took a little bit to build, but I like it. Overall, I don't like the foundation that much. It's a little orange, but the other thing I don't like about it is the color. I feel like after a while, my face, my face is starting to look nicer and nicer. I don't have like that weird, like foundation look on my face if you guys can see that I kind of like pretty much like it nothing negative except for I feel a little orange maybe that's just me looking into this mirror but I don't know how I look on camera yet Ooh. anyways that's just that um hope you guys enjoyed this like kind of first impressions video um tell me what you guys think do you guys like this foundation do you guys have any of these products you guys like those products, but don't you like all those products? If you have any other drugstore related makeup products that you guys like to recommend to me, please leave it down below because I'm always into trying like new makeup. Recommend it to me and I will get around to trying it out. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, comment, like, whatever you want to do. Just join the family. Thank you guys for watching so much. Bye.